is something that is extremely special to me. The Moscow Mule was invented in this mug. Step back in time to Russia. Sophie Berezinsky, who's my great-grandmother, her father had a copper factory. She would come in when she was a little girl and she just loved being around her dad. They started creating copper mugs. Over the years, they made thousands of these copper mugs. Sophie immigrated over to the United States. She had them shipped over to America with her. 1941. Jack Morgan was the owner of the Cock and Bull Pub on Sunset Boulevard in Hollywood, California. Jack had a passion for home brewing, so he made his own ginger beer at the Cock and Bowl. Americans didn't drink ginger beer, they drank ginger ale. So Jack Morgan had loads of this ginger beer and had no idea what to do with it. John Martin is a regular. He just acquired a vodka company, Smirnoff Vodka. Vodka was not popular in America whatsoever at this time. And he was trying to figure out, how am I going to make vodka a staple in, in this country? Sophie here, she was bound and determined to find a way to do something with these mugs here in America. Her husband's saying, I've got 2,000 of these copper mugs filling up our house. She's going around door to door looking for people that may have an interest in the copper mugs. So this particular day in 1941, John and Jack are sitting around the cock and bowl trying to figure out how the ginger beer and vodka can go together. In comes Grandma Sophie, real, real outgoing personality and bubbly. You guys are trying to put this drink together. I've got these copper mugs. Let's put the three together and make a cocktail out of it that America will love. I can only imagine how many rounds of cocktails these three went through sitting at the table there. The Moscow Mule was born. One part vodka, two parts ginger beer, and a squeeze of lime. I wanted to take after what Sophie had done back in 1941, relaunch the brand 75 years later for Grandma Sophie, for the lineage, for just to keep that tradition intact. I brought back the Moscow Copper Co. It had to be something that Grandma Sophie would be proud of.